Hey, welcome to Random American. Today we finally have the Hood Saver 6000s and we're going to go ahead and put them on this thing. So stick around, see how I can mess that up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put these in here. Uh, I found just found out, I, I don't know if this is an aftermarket hood or what, but this thing doesn't have threads or nut cert in here. I'm pretty sure that Derek couldn't really, you know, plan for that. So I got what is probably the wrong bit, and I have a nut cert kit that I got off Amazon for thirty-one dollars. I'll place a screenshot here if I remember. We'll go ahead and see how this might all go together. <laughs> So it turns out the correct size is a half inch drill bit that you just kind of wall her around. All right, now we have our Wii tool. We're gonna we're gonna nut cert it. Just get it. Yeah, thread this right on in. I don't think I know how to use this. Oh. oh, yeah, I've already ruined the threads. All right, now that I've probably ruined the threads on that, let's get back to what we originally doing. The hood savers. So, Derek has painstakingly wrote out these instructions. Like, they are super detailed. I'm not real. I skimmed over them. I'm not really going to, I don't know. I'm just going to do what I think works all right, and we'll see. If I screw it up, well, then you'll know that uh, following his extremely, extremely detailed instructions is the right way to go. Which it probably is. Also, Derek. Uh, I got an extra nut certain bolt. I think I got two or three extra self tappers. So I'm not complaining, but your uh, supplier's wasting a little bit of your money. Just look out for that. You know, may have been a mistake, but I don't get that lucky. So here I have a couple of fender washers that didn't go back into this thing, are probably critical. But they'll be all right. Oh, and I'm putting these on not because my hood is bent, but because I don't want my hood to get bent. Now, I'm not trying to run these up. It's not super tight, okay? I still want to be able to move it side to side. All right. I'm going to take that out because that's how I lost last time. I'll get this top one centered and that's in there as good as i want it and we're going to go from there all right so my idea is i'm going to drill a quarter inch hole through here because that's about the size of that actually almost exactly a quarter and i will use that as my pilot hole for the 2564 that he uh says that i need to use looks center enough <laughs> Now I'm going to put a 25-64 hole. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, well, we had the wrong thread. So, this nut cert kit came with everything, or came with uh, nut cert, which is a good thing. But I had to go and buy bolts that were coarse thread instead of fine thread. Not a huge deal. It was 10 bucks. I got the more expensive ones that I can't get open. Jeez. They're the fancy grade 8 Dorman flange head and all the fancy stuff. Oh, yeah. So now, I'm going to go ahead and thread that right on in there if it'll let me. Didn't walk too far. That walked a little, but that's okay. 
it'll still go in. I'm going to get that threaded in, and then I'm going to go ahead and just poke holes in the rest of these, and then come back with the 2564 and uh, do the same. Okay, so I have all of the nut certs in. Go ahead and thread it on. I haven't cheated. I haven't test fit it yet, so if I screwed it up, well, guess what? You're going to see it the same time I do. So I know these first two work. Good, good. I'm going to go ahead and keep it back so in case I get, got it off just a hair. Right here. Okay. Okay. See if I can. See if I can encourage it a little bit. <laughs> it's cross thread, but it's there. That one's going in absolutely beautiful. Now this last one's a little crooked because it's right on the edge of this curve in. Oh, okay, we're good. It's right on the edge of this curve in because, like I said, I don't know if this is a factory hood or not, so it's not quite perfect. But man, she do look good. That's, <laughs> that's really nice. I am extremely pleased with that. So I'm running out of light here. I'm going to go ahead and get that side done. Uh, I will get a little bit of footage of this in the daylight, probably tomorrow. And here in just a second, I'll give you my final thoughts on these. And I'm going to be as completely fair and unbiased as I possibly can. Alrighty, so this is my final thoughts on the Hood Saver 6000s. I'm going to be overly critical of them because I have a lot of respect for Derek and what he does. This is the second thing that he has gotten me to impulse buy immediately without me, without him knowing it. So let's start with the bad. Um, the packaging was okay. It was just it was just the, them wrapped up in this. They weren't touching. They were on separate layers. And it was in a little bit bigger of a box. Uh, another thing is this has a little bit of a burr right here. It's not enough to catch you, not enough to scratch you. It's just where the laser uh, stopped and or started and stopped. And it didn't continue on just a little bit further to clip that off. The back side of this has a little bit of maybe boogers from the laser. Not maybe not cutting all the way through or well, it's cutting all the way through. It's just in these little tight maneuvers in here, like in the G's. It's got them way there in the back. Uh, the back side of the holes ever so slightly boogery. That's the bad. So let's go with the good, which is quite a long list. Oh, you can see that. Uh, these things are fantastic. I mean, they're, they're very heavy duty. They're not overly thick to where it's gonna pick your hood up to the point that it, you can't uh, shim it out of your body lines. The holes are very precise. Uh, Your with <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but with the quarter inch bolts and the powder coat, they just slide in absolutely perfect. There's not hardly any wiggle at all. So whenever you're drilling your holes, be precise. If you're going to be picking the fly shit out of the pepper, that's a bad. Not to me. Uh, these are are phenomenal. Uh, I don't have a whole 
Yeah, I don't have much. I don't have any more bad to say. The powder coat, it feels fantastic. Uh, it's a very heavy duty powder coat. Uh, it's very, it's a matte color, but it's very slick. It would not be hard at all to scuff this up and paint it if that's what you're wanting to do. I, I, I don't know what else he could have thought of to make these any better. Maybe down here, like, uh, like I said, with my hood, it, it, the way it rolls the support, I'll probably roll some B-roll right here showing how it comes over and the nut serp still went in just fine. Uh, maybe a little bit slotted here, maybe, but these things are great. They will go on every square body that I have and that I try to put on the road or even ones that I don't. So price, these things were, I think $80 shipped to my door. I think the initial price was 60 and then decently hefty shipping because it's the size of a box. The box packaging. Love it. Made in the USA all over the place. Tells you exactly what it is. Uh, no, no frills or anything like that. It's, I, I'm a big fan. Whenever this showed up, I had a couple other things coming in. I saw the box, immediately knew what it was. Got made in the USA all over it, and I couldn't be more proud of that. Um, yeah, this is just awesome. The hardware is really good quality. Uh, flange head bolts, uh, fine thread. I had a little bit of a hiccup with that because I didn't look properly on my, uh, what I was buying for a nut cert tool. I'm pretty sure I can buy the insert for it for th fine threads. So I just had to run and get some real quick. It wasn't really a big deal at all. I, I can't say enough good about these because they're not so heavy that they can't keep your hood from crinkling in a crash, but they're heavy enough to fix a hood or most importantly, keep them from getting bent in the first place. So Derek, you did an absolutely awesome job on these. I'll continue to watch your channel. Uh, you are what I aspire to be one day, maybe, <laughs> but seriously, no, these are great. Uh, hope you guys really enjoyed these. If there's any more questions that you have for me, uh, please go ahead and shoot them over to me. I might make a video on it. might just respond straight in the comments. I'm not very, uh, I don't have a whole lot of comments now because I'm not very popular. So chances are I will respond. But uh, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you hopefully on the next one.